Okay, so now we're going to use the law of sines to help us to solve triangles. And we're going to start off by solving a triangle where we're given two angles and a side. But before we do that, let's just kind of define what the law of sines is. So the law of sines says this, that the sine of A, angle A, over side length A equals the sine of angle B over the side length B, which was also equal to the sine of C, angle C, over side length C. And those ratios, those proportions, we can use to help us si uh, solve triangles. Now, let's see what we're given here. This goes to example two on page 815 in the book. It says solve triangle NPQ if P is 42 degrees, Q is 65 degrees, and N is equal to five. So it's always a good idea. Let's sketch a triangle. Doesn't have to be drawn to scale. We're just trying to identify the parts. So let's say that this is N, this is P, and this is Q. And we're trying to find all the angles and all the side lengths given what information we have here. All right, so P is 42 degrees and Q is 65 degrees. And we know angle, we know side length in, which is five. Okay. Well, we find uh, angle in pretty quickly. Let's find out what the angle of N is. Well, I know 42, I know P is 42 and Q is 65. So I don't have to do a whole lot of calculating now that I know that there's 180 degrees in a triangle. And if one angle is 42 degrees, and let me write it like this, angle N is gonna equal 180 less 42 less 65, and that's going to give me the angle measurement of N. So let's say 180 minus 42 minus 65. Then angle N is going to be 73 degrees. All right. Now from there, I want to find the side lengths of P and Q. So this is where I'm going to use the law of sines, and I'm going to set it up this way. Now, since I know uh, was the side length of N, I'm going to say that the sine of N, which is 73, over 5, side length of N, is equal to, let's just do, uh, let's do P first, the sine of 42 over side length P. That I do not know. Now I can cross multiply here. Let's see, I got P times the sine of 73 equals five times the sine of 42. And then to solve for P, I've got five over the sine of 42 divided by the sine of 73 and let's see 5 times the sine of 42 divided by the sine of 73 and if I round that to the nearest tenth then side length P is going to equal 3.5 we'll probably jump over to the calculator um, and punch that in just give us a little practice on that all right now let's find the sine of q now what i want to stick with is this right here because that's the one i was given the most information angle in and side in so i'm going to set it up like this to find now we're trying to find q we found p it's 3.5 let's find q 
So we got the sine of 73 over 5 equals the sine of Q, which is 65 degrees, over Q. And again, Q times the sine of 73. And once you get familiar with this, you can shortcut this step right here. 5 times the sine of 65. And so Q is going to equal 5 times the sine of 65 over the sine of 73. And then Q is going to equal, we're going to round that to the nearest tenth. It's approximately equal to it. So I've got 5 times the sine of 65 divided by the sine of 73. Enter, round it to the nearest tenth. And Q is going to approximately equal 4.7. So in solving this triangle, then I would say that N equals 73 degrees. P is equal to 3.5 or approximately equal, I should say. And Q is approximately equal to 4.7. All right, well, let's, um, let's do jump to the calculator right quick. And we're going to put in... For just one, let's do that. We'll do the one for P where we got 5 times the sine of 42 divided by the sine of 73. And hopefully, when we put that in the calculator, we can round that to 3.5. Okay, we're over here on the TI 84. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to check my mode. I want to make sure I'm in degree mode, not radian mode, because everything I'm dealing with here is in degrees. And yes, I see that I'm in degree mode. So I'm gonna quit, jump out of here. A second quit should take me to the math screen. So I'm gonna take five times the sine, it was sine of 42. I'm gonna close that parentheses. And it's gonna be divided by the sine of 73. And this is where we were trying to find side P. And we're going to hit enter. And what did we do wrong? Oh, I've got two parentheses. There it is, 3.49, or rounding it to 3.5. Ah, watch that extra parenthesis. I must have hit it twice. I didn't realize I did. Okay. There we go. 